In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set up your voice meter banana, and I'm going to show you step by step how to get it set up correctly. Maybe you never used it, or maybe you just want to get it set up a little nicer, a little bit better. And then I'm also going to show you how to get your Discord set up as well, just to throw in that extra part for you in case you need it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our windows settings are correct and at any moment if you need to just rewind the video redo some of these steps re-listen to the steps there's nothing wrong with that first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our actual sound settings we're going to go ahead and right click and then we're going to go to sound settings and once it pulls up we're going to see this right here so right there you see i have this selected that is my television that I use for my third monitor situation. So right here, I'm going to select that. Now, when you select this situation, you want to make sure you choose the right bit rate situation. So right here, we have this 16 bit and then I'm going to choose 44 100 right there. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. But I'm only choosing that because my computer tends to do some crackling, struggling type stuff whenever I have all the things set to 4,800. So I don't want to try that no more. You can try it if it works. Cool. If it doesn't, you might want to change it down to the 44 situation. Might even want to go down to the 32 right there. But you see it says FM radio quality. That might not be too cool. <laughs> but anyway going back to the sound situation I'm going to go down and select my microphone and as far as the microphone you see I'm using the Shure MV7 so once I select the microphone I want to use and I want to choose the same thing that I'm going to be ended up choosing inside of the voice meter banana here in a second so if you have any other devices that you're going to want to bring in or use just go through and do that same thing so let's say the speakers right here so we see the speakers are set to that but I can go ahead and choose this, make that match as well. I can come out of there. I can also select whatever else I need to select. Some things like, so right here, this is an actual software for my microphone. It doesn't have any options I can choose. You might run into that situation. So if you can't choose it, it is what it is. That's all the settings we need to do inside of the Windows situation. Next up, we're gonna come into Voice Meter Banana. I'm only moving mine all around the screen so I can see it past this microphone so right here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to menu i like to go ahead and check mark this right here auto restart the engine so it'll do the a1 device but it's automatically selected because i select auto restart all devices so if it senses something wrong you know it's not going through the correct way it'll try to restart them bad boys to keep it going so you don't have to come in here and hit the restart yourself so i like to go ahead and select that as far as system tray it'll be down in the system tray if you check mark that and then right here this has just always been check marked i never bothered with that and then we're going to go into the system settings so once we pull up the system settings this right here, once again, we want to make it match what we were selecting over there. So right here, just select the same thing. And as far as all these are concerned, you might want to play with them. You might want to fool with them. So if you're having like issues with certain things, doing certain stuff, you might want to lower the actual buffer situation. But usually you can leave it like it is. I lowered mine from the default and I only did that so I can hear the adjustments I did to my mic with the lowest latency I could possibly get. So you don't have to mess with this if you don't need to, if you don't want to. So I'm going to go ahead and X off of that because I don't need to fool with it no more. And right here, I like to tell people to start with the A1, A2, A3 up at the top. This is your hardware out. So basically i'm going to explain the things to you so if you needed to you could show somebody how to set it up but i would really like for you to send them to this video and let these ads play not gonna lie at least 35 seconds of them bad boys helps the youtubers out you feel me and if it's shorter than that the full thing helps us out just want to throw that out there as far as the a1 situation i go ahead and choose my headphones so right here you can choose your speakers if you want to you can choose your headphones you can choose a bluetooth headphone you can choose a bluetooth speaker it doesn't matter as long as it's connected to the computer and it's you know visible in here you can select it so i'm going to go ahead and choose my microphone but i'm already got it selected so i'm not going to re-click it and as far as the a2 situation i'm going to select what i normally use which is my tv and the reason why i'm doing it like that is obviously if i want to watch a video without headphones if i want to watch a movie or something like that i can simply choose this and i'll be all ready to go 
and then I'm just going to X off that because I don't need to reselect it once again. And then as far as the third output, if you got a third one, you can choose a third one. The choice is yours, but I don't have a third one right now. But if I wanted to, I could have it go just as easily to that one. So next up, we're going to go ahead and bring in a capture card. So you don't have to bring in one, but if you do need to bring in one, this is how you do it. So stereo input, we go ahead and click that right there, and then it's going to show us all our devices. So right here, you could just bring in a microphone, but I'm going to bring in my actual capture card, click that, and then I'm going to go ahead and not mess with none of this, not going to move or change none of the sound effects like I did with the mic over here. But... Right now, if I wanted to have that sound go through to the actual A1, all I would do is hit A1 and it'll go through that. If I wanted to do the A2, it'll go through the A2. So right now, if I choose A1 on my mic, we'll see that it goes through to A1 over here. But if I take that off, you see it doesn't. But you also see it's going through the B1 over here. So that's how I set up to make it to go to different apps, but we'll get to that in a second. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and choose your actual microphone. So choose your microphone right there, and then you can go ahead and do the same things that we just talked about over here. So I have it going through B1, and I don't have it turned to mono. You can if you want to, like if you have a stereo microphone and you just prefer mono, you can go ahead and do that. If you wanna hear only just that situation, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can mute it right now real quick as well, too. So that's good for if you're using this software to stream with it, you know, as far as sound and you're using it to go to multiple different places, you know, you can just mute it right here um, and be all good. The next thing you can do is you can set up the cable output right here. So if I select that, we have the cable output, the VB situation. So with each different application, you can also choose where things go. So if I wanted to, I can tell things to go to this right here. And then it basically creates its own you know, input through that virtual situation. So I can have it go through my A1 and it's gonna let me hear it. And then I can have it go through the B1 and it's gonna go through the same one I'm using for my mic. So if I wanted to have a soundboard, I can have it going through to the microphone situation so they can hear it, but I can also hear it so I can know which one I for sure clicked or, you know, just so I can know what's going on as well and know when it ended. With that, we're going to go back to the system sounds and we're going to scroll all the way down and then we're going to go to voice mixer app volume mix app situation right there. And then in here, you see the output device is set to that. The input device is set to this. And then we have these options here, like say the Stream Deck situation. I have it set to go to the cable input VB. So it's going to go right to this one. And then you can do that with a lot of other things as well if you need to. Right here you see I have this going out to my TV because that's my, I guess I would call it my default situation kind of. And then... As far as a lot of the other stuff, you can choose to change it in the app or you can fool around with it in here. System sounds right there. You can choose to mess with that. But as you can see, I don't fool with it and it works perfectly fine for how I got it set up. So that's just how you do that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is with this right here, you can actually have things come into this as well, too. So the way you do that is by selecting this option. So let me pull that back up. So as far as the voice meter input right here, you can tell things to go to that and it'll only come to this right here. So if you don't see it over here in your window settings, as far as, you know, right there, like Brave is, just open up Brave and it'll pop up. So right here, you see I have voice meter input selected. So since I have that selected, it's going to come through here. But if I wanted it to come through the voice meter aux situation, I would just simply hit voice meter aux. And to give you a proof of concept that that works, I'm gonna play one of my videos. So right now, I'm playing my video and it's coming through right here. But if I selected it, I could have it come through this other situation and it's going to go through the aux so as you can see it's going through the aux now 
And obviously I was monitoring it, so it was coming through the actual TV speaker. So yeah, you choose wherever you want it to go. As far as those two spots are concerned, I'm going to go ahead and put mine back like I had it. And then I'm going to go ahead and select those things again. So this right here is just another one, basically. So if you had another browser or you had another software that you wanted to go strictly to that, maybe you wanted to have like your music software going straight to that, you would simply select it in here just like we did with the Brave situation. So right here. And then if that had an input situation for microphones, we would simply come in here and choose right here, the B1. So that'll be the B1 that I'm using for my microphone to go through. That's basically how you get that set up as well. So with that being all done, now we know that we can listen to our actual videos. We can actually watch whatever we need to watch in our browser. So that'll be perfectly good. Next up, we're going to go ahead and at this point, you can mess around with the equalizer treble situation based stuff. If you want to on each of those, you can go ahead and shoot it through whatever you need to shoot it through so right here if you did want them to hear your video or song that you listen to you could simply feed it through whatever they're able to hear so b1 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 they would be able to hear all of these things so right here i'm actually using this for a soundboard situation inside of my stream day these items we see that it's at default but if i go into my settings we see that I have it set to go to the cable input VB. So it's gonna go right here. And then I have it set to where I'll hear it. I have it set to where it'll go through my mic. So anywhere my mic is going through with voice meter banana, it'll also be heard as well. So that's how you set that up if you ever wondered or if you need it for a future situation. Next up, we're going to go ahead and set up the discord part of this situation too here we go right here and once we pull up discord you want to just come into settings and you want to go down to voice and video if you don't know how to get to settings you simply go ahead and hit right here voila you're all ready to go then just go down to the spot we were just in and right here this is where the magic happens so right here you see we have already selected voice meter out b1 but if you don't want to you can just have them hearing the raw microphone i don't want people hearing that raw microphone because this is not cutting out any of the background noise this is not changing anything at all you feel me it's just doing its thing so i choose voice meter b1 out that's going to bring the microphone in proof of concept right there hello 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 it's coming in then right here your output device you simply choose this and choose whatever you want that to go to so right there is going to go through aux so if i go ahead and click here and pull this up i'm going to make it to where i can't hear it though and then if i do let's test you see it's going through the aux right there but if i turn this off it's going to stop monitoring right there because it's no longer going through that. That's how you hear them coming through your aux section. You can just put it on A1, A2, whichever you need, or, you know, have you want it basically. And then pretty much that's it. You don't really have to fool with any of this voice isolation stuff because voice meter banana normally does a pretty great job. Down here it says automatically determine input sensitivity. If the indicator is solid green, Discord is transmitting your beautiful voice so that's cool you can choose voice processing you can leave it all set like this i've never touched none of these honestly only thing i've ever messed with is this right here and for some reason my mic not my mic but my output volume is set to 107 percent. i don't know why but anyway that's how you get that set up and i don't fool with none of this other stuff i'm not gonna lie to you so this is just simply how to get the mic and get the output situation going into where you need to go in your voice meter banana. And right here, as far as your microphone is concerned, when you choose your microphone, just click right there, choose the microphone. You can actually move this around and change how it sounds and, you know, fine tune it. Some of these will sound a little weird, but yeah, I'm gonna put it about close to where I had it before. You can also do compression in here. You can also do a noise gate. If you wanted to, you can get rid of your keyboard sounds with this. So I'm gonna hit the space bar right now. 
as you can see, you can hear that, but I can turn this up and it get rid of it. So let's try it. So around 2.1, if I don't click it super duper hard, it'll go ahead and get rid of it. But if you go too high, it might end up cutting out your when you're trying to, you know, when you're trying to talk, it might cut out your actual voice. You don't want that to happen. So, you know, you can find this sweet spot, mess around with your, you know, your environment. You can also get rid of background noise. So if you have a laptop fan or a fan across the room, let me give a little silence so you can hear. And then you can turn it up to get rid of it. So then whenever you stop talking, it's not going to be that constant hum of whatever fan or whatever you have in the room going. So let me give a little silence again. And that's wonderful. That's great. That's beautiful. And then also you can monitor it yourself if you would like. That's another reason why in the actual settings over here, I went ahead and turned down my actual um what you call it, buffering stuff. But you don't got to do that. Pretty much over with. It's set up how it needs to be set up. It should sound very crispy, very nice. If this video helped you out, please let the like button is greatly appreciated. Links down in the description to where you can find all sorts of different stuff where, you know, recommendations, stuff to try out, stuff to buy, whatever the case may be, is usually down in that description. Stuff I use in the setup, all that. Even got a link down there going straight to Amazon in case you want to shop till you drop and just do your normal thing to help out the cause. It's greatly appreciated. Everybody coming out to the streams is appreciated as well. I stream on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube currently. And yeah, it's been pretty cool. So I appreciate everybody stopping by, leaving comments. I appreciate everybody stopping by, you know, just engaging, hanging out, whatever the case may be. Even the lurkers. I appreciate y'all as well because y'all help that number go up too, you know. Can never overlook the lurkers. Y'all do y'all thing. I had about 29 lurkers in there and three people talking. I did not care. That worked out perfectly on the red app, the tube app. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to saying the, the, the red app because TikTok don't like when we say certain website names. Womp, womp. But anyway, <laughs> check out some of the other videos. Watch the other videos. Enjoy the other videos. All that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.